Most of us live in a world that keeps us in a perpetual state of identity crisis. We have so many different voices competing for our attention, telling us who we are and who we're supposed to be, that we never have a sense of our own true identity. But what if it were possible to know who you really are? What if it were possible to know the identity that was assigned to you before the foundations of the world? The only person in human history to ever really live every moment completely aware and completely awake to their own identity was Jesus of Nazareth, which can be an intimidating thing to hear, especially since we believe that Jesus is God in flesh. Jesus is God and we're not. A lot of us get that. But what a lot of us don't understand is that Jesus is not the first or the last person in human history to be called a beloved son of God. In fact, all throughout the pages of scripture, God refers to different people as beloved sons and as beloved daughters. The difference between Jesus and everybody else is that when God says, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased, Jesus really believed him. And unlike the rest of us, Jesus never forgot who he really was. That's the thing that was so revolutionary about Jesus. That's the thing that made him such a threat to the powers that be. Jesus wasn't just teaching people to be nicer to one another or just to be kind and to hug and love one another more. Jesus was giving people a whole new way of being human. Jesus became the prototype for a whole new way of being alive and awake to God, awake to the people around us. How would it change your life if you, like Jesus, really knew your identity as a beloved son or as a beloved daughter of God? And what would it change if you came to believe that right here, right now, you're more like Jesus than you think?